Sire Roland to the dark tower came. His word was still, cry foe and foul. I smell the blood of a British man. The Lord of Glasgow, where is the king? In where is the king, my master? In here. But trouble him not. Give with the God. I have all heard a plot of death upon him. Take up thy master. If thou shouldst dally half an hour, his life stands in assured loss. Take up, take up this way, my lord. I, I will keep still with my philosopher. Make Padova, friend, uh, where thou shalt meet both welcome and protection. Lazaretto calls me and tells me Nero is an angler in the lake of darkness. Pray, innocent, beware the foul fiend. No noise, no noise. I'll to supper in the morning. And I'll go to bed at noon. <laughs> Traitor. Ingrateful fox. What means your graces? Good, my friends, consider. Do me no foul play, friends. Seize him! <laughs> Where hast thou sent the king? To Dover. Wherefore to Dover? Wast thou not charged with peril? Wherefore to Dover? Let him answer that. <laughs> I am tied to stake, and I must stand across. Wherefore to Dover? Because I would not see thy royal nails pluck out his poor old eyes. Bind fast this cocky arm. Hard, hard. But I shall be the winged vengeance. Overtake such children. See it? Shalt thou never? <laughs> If you see vengeance, uh, uh, hold your hand, my lord. Uh, I have served you ever since I was a child. What better service have I never done? And now to bid you hold. Uh, now oh, you just Bella, nay then, come on and see the sense of anger. Uh, oh, 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 man. oh. Now you have one eye left, my lord. She's a mischief on him. See it, shall thou never. <laughs> out, vile jelly, where is thy luster now? Shut him out at gate. How is my lord? How looking? I've received a hurt. Turn out that eyeless villain. Throw that slave on the dunghill. Regan, I have bleed apace. Untimely comes this wound. Give me your arm. Let him smell his way to Dover. Carl, you are not worth the dust which the rude wind blows in your face. Oh, milk levered man. See thyself, devil. Proper deformity seems not of a fiend so horrid as in war. Fang fool. Marry your manhood, mew.
Now, sweet Lord, you know the goodness I intend upon you. Tell me but truly, but then speak the truth. Do you not love my sister? An honored love. But have you never found the poor fended way, my brother's place? That thought abuses you? I never shall endure her. Dear, my lord, be not familiar with her. Fear not. Is he? Why he was seen even now, mad as the vexed sea, singing aloud, crowned with rank fumiter and furrowed weeds. Send forth an officer, search every acre in the high grown fields and bring him to our eye. Seek, seek for him. News, madam. The British powers are marching heavenward. As known before, our preparation stands in expectation of it. Oh, my dear father, it is thy business that I go about. Therefore, great France, my mourning and sad tears have pity. No blown ambition doth our arms incite, but love, dear love and our aged father's right. Soon may I hear and see. They cannot touch me for coining. I am the king. Himself. There's your press money. Uh, they told me I was everything. It was a lie. And when the wind came to make me chatter, and the thunder would not peace at my bidding, there I found them. There I smelt him out. They told me I was everything. Is it a lie? I am not vague your proof. Give me the map there. He's not the king. I. Every inch. A king. When I do stare, see how the subjects quake. I pardon that man's life. What was thy cause? Adultery. Thou shalt not die for adultery. The wren goes to it, and the small gilded fly does lech her in my sight. To it, luxury, pell-mell, let copulation thrive. For I lack soldiers. Behold yon simpering dame that minces virtue to shake the head to hear of pleasure's name. The fitune of the soiled horse goes to it with a more riotous appetite. Down to the waist there centaurs, the women all above. But to the girdle do the gods inherit. Beneath is all the fiends. There's hell. There's darkness. There's the fiery pit burning, scalding, stench, consumption. Drive! 
Give me an ounce of civet, good apothecary, to sweeten my imagination. There's money for thee. Oh, let me kiss that hand. Let me wipe it first. It smells of mortality. Oh, this ruined piece of nature, mm. this great world should so wear out to Lord. Just now, know me. I remember thine eyes well enough. Dost thou squinny at me? Mm, see how this world goes. I see it feelingly. What art mad? A man may see how this world goes with no eyes. Look with thine ears. See how yon justice rails upon yon simple thief. Hark in thine ears. Change places and handy dandy, which is the justice which the thief. I've seen a farmer's dog bark at a beggar. I see. And a creature run from the curb. There thou mightst behold the great image of authority. A dog's obeyed in office. Oh, sir. Sir. If thou wilt weep my fortune, take mine eyes. <laughs> I know thee well enough. Thy name is Gloucester. Thou must be patient. We came crying hither. Thou knowst when we first smell the earth, we wall we cry. I will preach to thee. Alack, alack the day. When we are born, we cry that we are come to this great stage of fools. This were a delicate stratagem. To shoe a troop of horse with felt. I'll put it to practice. When I've done it, I'll steal upon these sons in laws and kill, 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 kill. Come, come, I'm a king. My master's a king. Know you that? You are a royal one. Will you be? Get me a surgeon. Sire, your most dear daughter. I am cut to the brain. The king is mad. How stiff is my vile sense that I stand up and have ingenious feeling of my huge sorrow. Better I were distract, so should my thoughts be severed from my griefs and woes by wrong imagination lose the knowledge of themselves. I all, methinks, I hear the beaten drum.